thing that must do what you commanded is a slave, and its commander is its master. When the master has come to do everything through the slave, the slave then becomes the master, since he cannot live without him. And so I perceived that I was a slave of a slave. slave. When we discovered that, we shed our superfluous heads and legs and arms until we had our old shapes again. But still I am the slave of the slave. My body? How am I to be delivered from it? That, children, is the trouble of the ancients. For whilst we are tied to this tyrannous body, we are subject to its death. And our destiny is not achieved. What is destiny? The day will come and there will be no more people. Only thought. And that will be life eternal. I trust I shall meet my fatal accident before that day dawns. For once I agree with you, Ecrasia. A world in which there were nothing plastic would be a truly miserable one. No limbs, no contours, no exquisite lines or elegant shapes, no worship of beautiful bodies, no poetic embraces on which cultivated lovers pretend that their caressing hands are wandering over celestial hills and enchanted valleys. What an no. inhuman Ecrasia. Inhuman? Yes. Inhuman. Why don't you fall in love with someone? I have been in love all my life. I burned with it, even in the egg. Not a bit of it. You and Argelax are just as hard as two stones. For yours. And did I deny it to you? You didn't even know what love was! I adored you! You stupid oaf! Until I found that you were a mere animal! And I made no end of a fool of myself until I discovered you were a mere artist! You appreciated my contours! I was plastic, as Argelax says. I wasn't a man to you, I was a masterpiece, appealing to your tastes and senses. Your tastes and senses had overlaid the direct impulse of life in you. And because I cared only for our life and went straight to it and was bored by your calling my limbs fancy names and mapping me into mountains and valleys and all the rest of it, If you call being a live man an animal! You need not explain. You refused to be refined. I did my best to lift your prehistoric impulses onto the plane of beauty, of imagination, of romance, of poetry, of art, of...